Hello everybody, this is Sci Spy, and we are back with Major Minor Complete. I haven't done this in a little while. It's probably been, what, two to three weeks since I've done the last episode of this. And I am getting back into this and definitely looking forward to getting some more into the story. Now, where did I stop? I can't remember. Okay, I see chapter 4 here. Uh, looks like that's where I stopped there, so that's where we're going to continue. Okay, so let's go ahead and get going on this. Hopefully you all can hear me okay. I know that the music is a little bit on the loud side. I just want to make sure that you can hear me and the mic's not humming all that much. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue with file 3. Load. Yes. I guess a lot's happened over the last couple hours. Life in this business moves start pretty darn fast. I hope I can keep up with all this. My next step was Cinch's office. He wanted to have a conversation with me and Kyla. Well, I wonder what it was about. I hope that he at least let us stay and tour with Daz. Okay, give me a sec. I'm going to move my chat here. Hi Hector, yeah I know, I told you what's up and I brought it up, there we go. I'd rather work, I'd rather all of my work not be for nothing. And I'd get to spend lots of time with everybody, especially if we weren't able to leave the building. I doubt it would be as bad as Asheron thought. Only Max and Singe would set out the weapons. At the moment, they were on the same side. Or both in this protect all of us. I feel at ease. It was very short lived. The tell my phone echoes through the empty hall. I hesitantly check my text messages. I'm completely unaware of what awaits me. But after reading what I was about to, I knew that things would never be normal again. One of your friends will die today. It will be your fault. You are not the only one with blessed powers from the Ark. Things will be more fun from now on. Good luck. Thank you much, Hector. Before your arrival in Tokyo, and before the launch of the contest, yeah, I think there's going to be another dead person here soon. Maybe. Rayo. And that's apparently his name is Rayo. Uh, so I, if I may reiterate, I recently engaged in a bargain. And my claim in this is Dominion. Not only over Earth, but his people too. And the flow of time therein. I am certain you would like this power. In your line of work, it would be essential. Am I correct to assume that you agree? Yeah, but... Ooh! Max is in on this, too. All that is contained in this? It's such a fragile-looking necklace. Fragile? The gears of fate are anything but. They spin in spite of defiance. Like a draw moving forward in revolution. Time is not easily stopped. It is fickle and moves with vigor. So what? I can control time? In a way, what has happened cannot be changed. But you can stop it and slow it down. Like a river, it can flow or be still. The gear gives you the power to do this. So let's say I believe you, which I am inclined to. I mean, just look at where I'm standing. I imagine all the people I could save. Those that are struggling or in danger. But I sense you want something in return. You wouldn't just hand out this power. I'm glad you're as smart as they say. The truth is, I grow tired of this place. The Ark is fun for a time, but my ambitions have grown larger. I seek a worthy successor, someone to rule in my stead. However, there is more than just time. The power of the Ark runs deeper. 
So this gear is just a taste, huh? Indeed. The art governs life and death as well. This renders the dweller immortal. Governs life and death? You mean you can bring back the dead? Yes. Or I can cause the living to die. Something I fear I'll be doing more of. But you said you can't reverse time. It's true, I can't. But time and life are separate entities. I'm not sure how to explain the difference. Its concept is hard to put into words, but it's easily understood in practice. If you become my successor, you'll see. You mean there's a chance I might not be? Well, I didn't realize this was a gamble. I thought you were making me an offer. Of course this is a gamble, Max. You're not the only one who will be chosen. There will be a few contestants, along with a goal and an objective. I can't just give the Ark away. Not without finding a worthy owner. It is your goal to prove that worth, and there will be others in your way. Very well then. What are your terms? Rael lets out a sinister smirk. You don't let out a smirk, you put a smirk on your face. What the fuck? Some of the writing in this is kind of... Yeah. My terms are simple. Very Pay very close attention. And we start chapter 5. Looks like I was right at the end of it when I stopped last time. Prison? Why am I in prison? That's not good. Oh, now they put a save point at the start of a chapter. Now they put a save point at the start of a chapter. And yeah, I know about Winds of Change coming up, and it's not going to be till what, October? Or something like that at the earliest? Might as well save. Not in the same spot as before. Let's go here. There we go, and there are no people here. Okay, present day. How are you holding up? Thirsty or hungry? Neither, just feeling lonely. With me right beside you? I'm not sure if I should be offended. I thought I was pretty good company. Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Of course you're good company, Kaylin. It's just, I'm missing lots of people. And that, and it's wet and dark. Wet is good, humidity helps. You don't want to dry out in a cell. Trust me, it's an awful experience. I know you say you're not hungry, but I've been monitoring your eating. You'll starve if you don't have any more. Just ration this bread, Kabu. Not a chance, that's yours. Yeah, I would have to say that um, Kaden does fit that description. Yeah. <laughs> Not really, I can survive on little food. Your body isn't used to that though. I can tell this situation is foreign to you. It seems to be the opposite for you. Spend a lot of time in prison, Kaden? More than I'd like to admit, but being at prison isn't all that bad. Excuse me? I always seem to find a way out. This time will be no different. We're alive, so that means one thing. They want us alive. If they didn't, we'd be dead by now. Only you could find that reassuring. I'm afraid I don't share that sentiment. The player would never keep someone alive, not unless they were important to him. So for now, we get free food and shelter. With a sign of torture, you mean. Your optimism is an inspiration. It's just who I am. Think of it like this. Every time they take me out for torture, I can mentally map more of the estate. I'll have it all down in no time. 
that we plan our escape. I'm used to torture, trained to resist it. I make sure they always take me. Besides, I have some letters to send out. And what better time to do it? I hope my friends are getting them. I know this place inside doubt. I can definitely help you, but I can't just let you suffer in my stead. Of course you can. That's what buddies are for. Buddies? Yeah. I want to help you out, Kabu. And that's why I give you my bread. And that's why I'll make sure they don't hurt you. I don't think I can repay you for this. Well, you can tell me about yourself. If we're buddies, I should get to know you. I suppose that is a fair exchange. Will you tell me about yourself too? Sorry, I don't really do that. The bread and care will have to suffice. Oh. But please, do tell me. I don't ask unless I generally care. Kaylin lets out a soft smile. Well, it's just like I said at the rally, I don't remember much, but I'm not Terran. First thing I remember is Lord Plair. I'm sorry to hear that. That must not be a pleasant first memory. Heh, <laughs> in this case you're wrong. I look back on that memory very fondly. If it weren't for Plair, I'd be dead. Back then, he was different. He treated me as if I were a Terran native. Like I was his own flesh and blood. But everything changed, and so fast. Politics turned him into a different man. He was much easier to coerce and influence. He only cared about his following. He lost sight of his true self. But I suppose it's collateral damage. Not many people stick to their views. Especially when others don't share them. He started telling people what they wanted. No longer did he talk about what he wanted. It was all about pleasing the population. It could be addicting, having power. Having people cheer your presence. I could see how that changed him. I guess he gave in. That's when I started to feel neglected. He would really speak to me. That must be hard. Having a father figure treat you that way. Is that why he decided to speak up? No, that's a different matter entirely. A lot changed when Riley came on board. He was supposed to be Player's advisor. But it's more like he owned Lord Player. Suddenly Riley was the one in charge. And he made him do some horrible things. What do you mean? This isn't the only cell down here. There are others, filled with people. He's keeping undocumented immigrants. Riley convinced him to do this. The immigration stance was his idea. Player loved immigrants. He loved me. There were able to get a steady supply. Something about two men with connections. They came to some sort of arrangement. But they've kept everyone alive. So it's not like they want to kill them. It's more like they want to ostracize them. He thinks it will make Terra better. But that hurts me. It really does. I wouldn't be a part of this new Terra. I heard him talking with Riley. If elected, they'll make more prisons. Immigration camps or something like that. A place to keep them while he works. He wants to sever Terra's connection. Remove us from the galactic community. But that's far too dangerous, Kaelin. We know what happened when Valis kissed Twied. This is not to be trifled with. I... I find this all hard to believe. So we're not really alone down here? Not at all. But getting back on topic. All this is Riley's doing. He makes Player do these awful things. But it's still Player himself that does them. And his hands have gotten so dirty, Kaelin. 
while Riley's remain clean as ever. Wait, you don't mean... Yes, he's setting Player up. He wants to remove Player from the picture. Then he'll be free to usurp the campaign. Okay, now I'm getting a little confused. You say it's Riley behind all of this. Then why do you frame Player to Riley? Riley must believe that he's winning. That way he can let down his guard. I cannot help from an assass I got help from an assassin in Dimion. Together we create a fake manifest. That's what I submitted at the rally. And that's what started all this. You must have thought I was stupid. Turning up against Lord Player so easily. Especially with forced evidence in haste. It did seem a little odd, but now I understand why. So, what's the next step? Hopefully, Player can realize the truth. After this, he'll want to escape blame. Maybe he'll place the pieces together. Hopefully, in doing this, he'll realize. That's when both of us come in. Assuming he learns of your guild heritage. He'll realize he can't escape the storm. At that point, he'll seek protection. And that's exactly what you can offer. He should come down here to talk. And that's when we can barter. Use your services to gain freedom. You thought all this through. I did. Sorry if it's complicated. But if we protect Player, we can use him. His testimony will help expose Riley. Of course, they'll lose all validity. No one will vote for those two men. They'll secure the election for Valesquez. I misjudged you. I'm impressed. Most do, and that's what makes it easier. I can avoid suspicion and detection. Wow, you think like a mercenary. You make a great addition, Kabu. Maybe the guild life will suit you. At least, that's the way I think. I'll always be steps ahead of the enemy. Then you'll be able to counter them. It's one of the first things I learned. I guess I wasn't lucky enough to learn it. All of this just came to me by instinct. Sounds lucky to me. So what do we do, just wait? It's all we can do, really. Wait for Player to come to his senses. Or perhaps wait for him to get caught. A plan of freedom and you've been unlocked. Oh, look, there's Conrad. Let me get a drink real, real quick. My mouth's getting a little dry. Wow, we screw up everything, don't we? We can't even take a nap without ruining stuff. How do you think the king will take this? You know, that his savior is missing. He's going to be furious, Cindy. Quiet. It's not the time or place for jokes. We have to figure out what happened. The Savior must be somewhere nearby. And there's too much time on, too much on the line to leave this. We have to figure it out and fast. Sorry. But maybe he just left with his own will. I mean, we never had him in shackles. They always had to freedom to walk. But we explained things so well. I was certain we had their allegiance. They can't have just walked away. Look around for clues. There's more here, I know it. Oh, we're detectives now? Did I see through that meaning? Conrad, enough. Sorry for yelling. Would you please help me look around? Look for elements of foul play. Then we can decide our next actions. Yeah, yeah, I'm on it. And I try to keep low on the jokes. I didn't realize this was a hot topic. Just hard habit to kick. Especially when it's second nature, you know? I understand. 
Thanks. You start looking over there. I'll get this half of the room. I appreciate it. They can't have gone far either. So the faster we find lead, the better. We spend a few moments scouting the room. After a few moments pass, and Dimian makes a discovery. Conrad. Yeah? Come here. I found something. What is it? It's blood. Wait, the savior's blood? I don't know. But this tattered piece of clothing, I recognize it from anywhere, Conrad. Lord Blair was here. That's impossible. We're still on good terms with him. And Demian holds up the piece of fabric. The blood has long since dried. Well, who else would wear this? There's no other explanation. I've seen him wear this many times. That's purely conjecture. We should look around a little more. He knew all about Lord Plare. There's no way he'd leave willingly. Yet, there are no signs of a struggle. Fabric was torn and blood drawn? That doesn't happen without a fight. There'd have to be something left behind. But everything is in pristine condition. Perhaps we're falling into a trap. Being tripped into thinking this way. That would be what our silent wants. We were just next door in Dimian. We would have heard if anything happened. Think about this logically, no assuming. I'm not assuming anything, Conrad. The evidence is right before me. There's no mistaking what I'm seeing. Lord Player must have abducted the Savior. He must make haste to his residence. Our geist has been broken. We can attack head on. We would have heard an abduction, Gideon. Think about this, I'm begging you. It could have spiked our line, Conrad. I knew I slept longer than usual. Now you're being paranoid. Conrad, just stop it. We had some, someone capable of saving Terra, and now they're missing, with evidence. It is a perfectly logical conclusion. I suppose, at first glance. Exactly. And that's, and there's a chance I'm right. We have to act on that no matter how small. If we don't, the savior could be killed. There is too much in the balance to debate. We need to take action before anything else. At least meet me halfway, Andy. We can't afford to be so reckless. What do you have in mind? Let's just pay him a visit. We can gauge how he treats us. We'll be able to tell pretty quickly. If he tries anything funny, then we act. But right now, it's not right to assume. We could be heading into a trap, you know. If we attack first, we blow our cover. Then everything would just fall apart. That could easily be someone's true goal. Very well. And Damian places his hand on Conrad's shoulder. But if he is holding the savior, or if he gives all the slightest suspicion, I will show him no mercy, I promise. Well, this is getting a little bit more interesting. Get into the more action-y parts of the uh, story after five freaking or four chapters and a half, it seems like. <clears throat> Need another drink here. All right, there's Righty. <clears throat> you can see how this is important to me. Normally, I wouldn't go to such extremes. The king's life is on the line here. Wait, who's a fox? You always did have a soft spot for him. It's rare to see you in such dire straits. But yeah, I guess I can understand. What do you want me to do about it? I'm one of your enemies, after all. Why would I help the competition? 
Righty. Uh, you wouldn't help the competition, but you might help a friend. Oh, we're friends now? When you need help, that's how it works? Samantha. Don't call me that, it's Sam. I know I haven't always seen eye to eye. But this time, I really do need your help. You had your chance to recruit me, but you chose that pretty boy instead. And now you want me to help you save him? The irony is actually comedic. Are you only here to mock me? Well, I need to check in on things. My boss needs all kinds of information. And who is your boss exactly? Sorry, lips are sealed. But you're asking me to sway allegiance. Only coin can get me to do that. Righty. And no small amount of them evil. Either. But I might use this chance to spy, so don't think I'm yours for good. I could turn my back on and sell you out. I was fully expecting to pay you for this. As a mercenary, I know the power of money. Very well, tell me the full story. I don't want any naughty little surprises. I don't get along with those, righty. Well, Kaden is being held prisoner, in Lord Player's Manor, actually. Maybe you've heard of him? Of course I have, and you're crazy. The security on his estate is massive. That's why I've come to you. Hey Foxy, how you doing? I saw your comment on one of my videos, thank you for commenting on it. I'll require a bonus then. Fine, but it's just a rescue mission. Not much else is out of the ordinary. Ah, uh, hey Flame. But if there are any other prisoners, I think we should extract them as well. Bonus! Also, I'm open to any important facts. If you dig up Duron, player, and the king. Bonus. Jeez, how much money is you going to make off of this deal? Also, you may be subject to more bonuses. Especially if mission parameters change. You find this acceptable, righty? Yes, but I'm coming with you. Like hell you are, I'll work alone. No, you work with me now. No thanks, we tried that once before. You said I was too reckless, I think. Chose the pretty boy over me. This isn't an entrance exam, Sam. Lives are on the line, you know. I didn't pay you back then. I set the mission parameters. You would charge me accordingly. Fine, but I doubt you can afford me. Especially not when you meet in a cellar. Headquarters under a tavern, that's rich. Actually, it's the other way around. The tavern was built over my HQ. These tunnels are deep, lots of secrets. Remember, Vasquez funded this place. The royal treasury is nearly limitless. Trust me, I'm aware. So what do you think? Can we work together, Sam? Sure. Let's talk numbers. Would you like to save your game? Yes, I would like to save my game. Achievement unlocked. Bonus. Basically, I'm keeping three saves. Basically, in order. That way I have somewhere to fall back on if something breaks. Though, with the live streams, I don't see that being a big problem. Well, there are some... Some of the chicks and some of the guys, it's like, yeah, there's some of them, yeah. <laughs> I definitely be interested in. Well, obviously, 
I never trust a woman in red. Vasquez, I knew I would. I wish I knew what to do. Honestly, Dusk, I'm conflicted. I can understand given your situation. I fear my allies are turning against me. I'm just trying to help everybody, Dusk. You've done a fine job of that, my lord. You definitely have my allegiance. For that, I am honored. But they don't appreciate my secrecy. I haven't really been transparent. I've been very quiet about my plans. And that means one important thing. People fill the cracks with imagination. Their own thoughts make me a villain. People tend to do that, especially under such grim circumstances. Many citizens think worst case scenario. They don't have this life of luxury. I think you should visit the people. Work in public relations will be great. I'm not sure about public relations. No amount of that could fix what's coming. Tell me, Dusk. If you could do something truly amazing, would you do it without hesitation? Without a doubt. If the, what if the world hated you for it? They wouldn't see the good right away. No matter how beautiful things ended up. I, I'm not sure, my lord. Uh, it, if it was good, it would be obvious. I don't see why people would hate. I see. I guess since hesitance, Dusk. I don't, but don't worry, I feel the same way. Especially when the time is finally here. And now, I'm just not sure. Do not let your resolve falter, my king. Especially not based on others' opinions. There are always those who would oppose you. I'm afraid that is the only advice I have. It is not bad advice. I am glad to have sought your counsel. You must think me foolish. I'm the immortal king, doubting his actions. I'm supposed to know everything, aren't I? Again, that's just something the people say. Don't become who they think you are. You'll only end up losing your true self. And that is something we cannot lose. You are wise beyond your years, especially as numerous as they've been. Yes, they have been many, but I fear this may be my last. Again, at a much earlier time. Back of the Ark again. You want me to do what? I'm sorry, I believe I misheard you. I'm afraid you didn't, Miss Armstrong. But you know who I am. I'm in the business of protecting others. You can't expect me to consider this. Yes, you do like to protect others, but this comes with something else. You understand the importance of death. It is everywhere, it is unavoidable. While all around us, it consumes us. The power of death is immeasurable. Surely you've been touched by it as well. Perhaps you've lost someone dear to you. Someone you'd give anything to see again. Even the lives of others, perhaps. I, yes, I have. But you can't just... Think of it this way, Max. You know what the Ark is capable of. It could bring an end to death as a whole. That's what you want, isn't it? That's what your company is dedicated to? Protecting others, saving them from death? Nobody would have to lose a loved one again. No one would have to experience the pain, the grief. Surely this is worth what I'm asking. You're asking me to kill. But think of the loved ones you've lost. Wouldn't you like to see them again? Bring them back? Have them full of life? There has to be some other way. I'm afraid there isn't. You've been running from death for too long. It is time to embrace it. Now. Live it. The ruler of the Ark must not fear death. 
They cannot hesitate in the face of it. You have to confront it head on, Max. Once you've mastered the concept of life, your company is dedicated to preservation. Now it's time to embrace the other side. It's true, you protect people from death, but no matter what, death still exists. You need to gain a greater understanding. Only then will you be fit to rule. A ruler is master of every avenue, not just one or a few. A ruler can never pretend. Until now, you've run away from death. To rule the Ark, you must master it. I... I don't know what to say. This isn't something I should consider. But standing here, seeing this place... It gives your words more importance. This place truly is... is truly beautiful. But I'm not sure this is worth it. If you're being honest about this power, I can't afford to deny your request. And end to death what I've always wanted. But at the cost of more death? I don't know if I want to stain my hands. I never said it had to be you, Max. Remember the gear I've given you? Using it, accidents could happen. Also, let's not be stupid here. You've used products for your own gain. I think I can think of a few times without effort. How does he know that? Just who is this guy? Give me a moment to think about it, please. Of course. It's not an easy decision to make. By all means, take your time. Okay, let's recap here, Max. I was at home like I normally was, and after dozing off, I found myself here. Apparently, it's a place called the Ark. The current owner wants to leave, so he's taking time to seek a replacement. He told me that it controls time's flow, but he said it controls life and death, too. That means he can kill anyone he wants, or he can keep those he likes alive. For some reason, I am in this contest, but I have to prove my mastery over death. Managing Armstrong's mastering life. I guess I have to see the other side. Maybe that's why he chose me, I'm halfway. But first, I mastered life, and now death. But I need to kill people to do that. But I don't know, I usually do the opposite. However, he hinted I could use weapons. So that part is somewhat appealing. Wait a minute. What if we said... If what he said about the Ark is true, I could just resurrect those I've killed. In this case, it is just symbolic. My actions wouldn't be permanent. Unless I lose, of course. But with all this power, I couldn't. Control of time and company assets? I don't think I could po it's possible to lose. I'd have all the time in the world. You're a genius, Max. You can play him. Do what he wants and then reverse it all. Alright, I'm in. Can you give me more specifics? Yes, of course. A world tour is about to launch in Tokyo. I suggest buying a plane ticket. You'll be needed there right away. Well, we know how that went into, um... Effect there. Present time. <clears throat> Give me a second for my drink again. I gazed at my phone for what seemed like an eternity. I simply couldn't process what I was seeing. Someone else had gained powers of the Ark. I knew that man wasn't telling me anything. The, my initial instinct was to show this to Asheron, but I couldn't reveal my powers to him just like that. In fact, I didn't know who I could show this to. I'd like to have to keep this to myself, which is awful. Why couldn't someone on my side have powers? Things have not gone my way since I returned from Terra. I suddenly long for the simpler times of yesterday, back when my biggest worries were Rook and Kyla. I long for the peace of what I had experienced. Especially with the fact that there are weapons here. Even after what Sin said, I was still scared. But I guess Asheron was here to protect us, at least. I should pay him another visit, keep him close. But then I remembered, Sinch wants to see me. Perhaps he could shed more light on all this. Because as of now, I feel like I'm prisoner here. And that was definitely not in the contest terms. 
I take a deep breath as I go to leave the room. Out of the corner of my eye, I see a box on the floor. There's a small blinking light on it, and it's red. I don't remember seeing that before the conference. Oh, look, a bomb! <laughs> but it has to be one of those weapons. Which means I need to get out of this room. And with that as my only goal, I quickly walk out. You ready to save your game? Yes! Okay, where do we stop? Uh... Previous save was here, then was here. Okay, we're gonna save here. Okay. Yeah. As soon as I step out, I see the same room as before, yet this time it feels different. When I was here, I sensed grief and apprehension, but now I sense fright and anxiety. It's palpable. I'm sure that after the conference, the press left. Why would they stay behind in a weaponized building? For now, I was certain that it was just he us here. By us, I mean those associated with the tour. Did it? I mean those associated with the tour. I guess I could. I would run away from strangers for now. Or I doubt I would run into any strangers for now, knowing that it felt easier to calm down. It was welcome in the face of what I felt before. I quickly scan the room to see who I can find. The room is practically empty. I just see Asheron. He seems to be guarding the entrance to Sinji's office. Almost instantly, he makes eye contact with me. Hey there, just who I was looking to see. I got a meeting with the man himself, huh? Would you be able to chat with me first? Something has been on my mind for a while. I mean, about the press conference. I'm sure you know what I mean. A while? But it just happened, didn't it? In fact, I want to talk with you sooner. Even before the conference began. I saw you go with Shock and Rocker. But I guess now it's fine too. In fact, it might be even better. There's something eating away at me. Did my outburst go too far? I feel like Sinj belittled me on stage. He, his certainty shouldn't override my worry. I feel like I had a valid concern, Devin. He chastised me for doing what I'm paid for. I only acted out of incest to protect. I feel like the others would have done it too, especially after learning about the weapons. My past with Armstrong is not related. I think it was rude for him to imply that especially in front of the press. I have a reputation to uphold. A guard can't be emotional like that. There must be no conflict of interest. My agency doesn't approve of that. The one I work for, I mean. So, that's what I'm wondering. Did I do something wrong on stage? Or was I acting as I should have? Maybe Sandra's out of line. That's actually a pretty good question. I don't think there's really a right or wrong answer. It was one of those multifaceted situations. You can't dumb down an answer like that. But he stared at me intending expect he stared at me intently expecting me to speak. And far be it for me to leave him hanging. I guess I should think it over before I answer. I'm gonna say that he was not in the wrong because one, I probably would have acted the same way in his situation. And uh two, Sid just kind of a dick. I don't think Asheron is in the wrong here. You can never really be in the wrong in a conflict of interest. Two sides clashing without op opposing that moral position. Or with Singe being moral here. Holding us in this building full of weaponry. Asheron speaking out against us was totally rational. In fact, he may have been the only one brave enough. The rest of us took the news in stride. Why would... Why should he get any heat for defending us? This is the viewpoint I had to explain to him promptly. Thank you. I feel much better after hearing that. I was worried I'd be alone in my sentiment. Self-doubt is never easy to endure. It eats at you, tears away from the inside. Not even all the time in the world can help. But I guess I should just move on. It does not affect my mission parameters. I need to protect everybody here. 
Everybody? That's not what he said before. Perhaps Singe gave him more duties. Well, you'll be safe in his office. And while you're there, I'm meeting Daz. She's been acting a little odd lately. I don't know her very well, of course, but I can sense when something is off. Funny he should say that. I guess he can't pick up on what I'm feeling, especially with those texts I just received. I thought it would be blatantly, blatantly obvious for him. Maybe his mind is occupied with something else, or perhaps someone else. Thank you for the little chat, Devin. I know it's stupid that we're confined, but I feel somewhat free. I'll take my time to greet everyone. Swing with Daz, as I mentioned before. So if you've been kind enough to excuse me. He walks away without saying another word. Without even waiting for me to respond what he, to what he said. I'm left in front of Sinja's office with my thoughts. Thoughts that someone out there wants to kill. Thoughts that someone else has the powers from the Ark. Thoughts that we are all surrounded by deadly weapons. We're about to meet the man who holds it all together. Sins, the manager of the world tour. The one in charge of everything. Why is this filming with such unease? Now that Asheron is gone, I can hear voices. Without a doubt, they belong to Kyla and Singe. The offices lit up with their conversation. I hope they didn't start without me, I'm not too late. I can hear their voices clear as day, save for a few muffled words at least. In fact, now I'm curious as to what they're saying. What could be so important that they can't wait? Um, duh, 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 I'm walking right in. Hey guys, how's it going? I was tempted to listen in, but I admit that it was not my nature. I've trusted them enough not to hide anything from me. At least, they haven't deceived me thus far. I'm probably just making idle conversation. It's not like they're sitting there in silence without me. So, without much pause, I open the door. It opens with relative ease as I slowly go inside. Hopefully, to gain some answers from the man himself. Would you like to save your game? Yes, I would like to save my game. Okay, 56, 17, 29, okay. 56. Okay. Well, iPad's usually pretty good for it. Excuse me. Meanwhile, in the convention center lobby... Oh, it's Rook. I guess I better make myself comfortable. I might be living here for a while now. I should probably go meet with Daz. Her schedule need, would need adjusting. So I can rock her too, for that matter. But I hate their constant fighting. Worse than an old married couple. Daz will have to re ease into her new role. It's going to be a bit overwhelming for her. Hopefully I can help it ease... Hopefully I can help make it easier. I don't want her to get being uncomfortable. I should probably... Oh hey, didn't see you there. Almost ran right into you. Watch where you're going, alright? Oh, trust me, I was. And you're just the man I was looking for. Wait, you were looking for me? I think you got me confused, lady. You know, with someone important. Now, now, don't leave me late. Don't leave me waiting, Rook. I've been looking everywhere for you. There's no need to be rude about this. I have prior engagements. However, would you like an appointment? I'm open to rescheduling this. Just let me know what time you're free. An appointment, hmm? I can work with that. You know the press conference room? Yeah, it's like my second home. Saying she has a flair for the dramatic. Holds a conference for almost everything. Would you be able to meet there later? I'm asking you to come alone, of course. What is the nature of this appointment? Business, of course. You're Singe's assistant, right? 
He's hard to reach, so I'll talk. So I'll take you. You have to be a little less vague. Do you really not know who I am? I'm not big on the tabloids. Sorry. I have to take that as a compliment. Either way, call me Maxine Armstrong. I'm the CEO of Armstrong Incorporated. Oh, so that's who you are. He kept all of your dearlings private. That's one thing I hated most about hiding. I always go for transparency. Withholding information is horrible. You have to excuse my lack of joy. I can't expect everyone to bow, bow to you. Can't expect everyone to bow before you. I'm not exactly a fan of your work, Max. Well, you're just as cocky as she said. She? Oops, I've said too much. The rest can wait for our appointment. How does 7 o'clock sound to you, Rook? I'm free. And the press room is good? As good as any other, I suppose. Great, I'll see you then. And remember, come alone, Rook. Yeah, whatever. I have stuff to do. Yes, of course you do. Always a busy man. By all means, enjoy what time you have left. Um, Foxy, there are ten chapters in this. I'm about halfway through the chapters. That doesn't mean I'm about halfway through the game. I'm just about halfway through the chapters. There's a difference in the present. You should slow down on the caffeine. No, I like my caffeine. Mountain Dew's life. I heard it's not good for you, Shock. And I mean this as a friend. Six energy drinks in one day? I haven't had much sleep. I'm drinking them to stay awake. Rook robbed me of my rest last night. Can you just take a nap then? There's not much to be done today. That saves a write-off, get some rest. I can't. What do you mean? I tried earlier, and it's my dreams. They haven't caught up to reality yet. He's still in there, you know what I mean? Oh. That might take a while, Shock. You'll need some sleep at sometime soon. Those drinks can't keep you up that long. You don't know what it's like. Sure I do, I just cope differently. We all handle death in different ways. Some people can be harmful with it. Coping, that's what you think this is? When I look at the brand you're drinking, I'd have to say yes, the contest is over. There's no need to drink that many, Shock. I don't know what you're hoping to find. There won't be anything inside those cans. You might have to look elsewhere, Shock. You're reading into this too much. It's not like I drink these to honor them. It doesn't work that way for me, remember? Funny you would jump to that conclusion. I didn't mention anything of the sort. You might not realize what you're doing. Sometimes your body does it automatically. It was largely the same for me, Shock. Ever wonder why I carry a bass guitar? You know, for the fact that I can't play one? You mean... Yes, it's a memento. But it's more permanent than a pop star. It'll last forever, given the right care. You might need to change your thinking. I'm not stupid, Shaq, and you know that. You're the only pretending to be carefree. You need to cope, not push to the side. You said it would last for it could last forever. Yes, with love and care, Shock. This will last as long as I want it to. It may even outlive me at this rate. You might be reading too much into this. I'm strong enough. I don't need a crutch. Memento would just flood me with memories. It might make it more intense at first, but eventually it'll give you new—you'll give it new meaning. The mento becomes yours, not theirs. I'm not sure I follow. You have to see for yourself, Shock. I'm not going to force anything on you, but at least tell me you're considerate. 
and promise to lay off the pop star. You don't, I don't need you anxious and jittery. Fine. If you have any bad experiences, call me. Night terrors or anything in between. I'm your friend, Shock. I'm here for you. I know you're strong enough to do this. Don't play around. Don't play the proud guy and let it go at it alone. That's the worst possible idea, man. It even ensures the problem never goes away. You bottle it up and eventually explode. We don't want any exploding happening here. Well, this time you're right. Thank you for the advice. No problem. You know, everyone says we fight a lot. But I've always said we're really good friends. And I think we just proved that. Yeah. Anyways, I was just going to say, I have a meeting here in a little bit. You can go ahead, and I'll stay backstage. Feel free to do whatever you want. Just don't try to leave the building. I wouldn't want to make Cinch upset. Can't make any promises. I seem to make him every or angry at every turn. He's not the only one. I hate you. No, you don't, Shock. They laugh and give wide smiles to each other. He slowly walks away, leaving Rocker behind. No one ever asks me to meet up with them, let alone someone as influential as her. I wonder if it's something special. Would you like to save your game? Yes. Well, there's that. Okay, 29, 36, 17, nope. Jeez, I'm just cycling through these saves pretty quickly now. Xfinity usually is pretty good. Okay, I'm going to go to one more save point, then I'm going to stop. The Ark. Continuing with their prior, to their prior conversation. Remember, Max, if you win, you can undo all the damage. You're not actually down for killing. You're just playing a part, fooling him. Tape deep, concentrate your breaths, do not let the anxiety overtake you. None of this will be permanent. You can bring them back, even her. Tokyo, huh? Can't say I've ever been there. Aside from Africa, I stayed in America. Another person of interest will arrive too. They are secondary to your objective. You must ensure that they stay alive. But everyone else in the tour must die. All of them? How many are there? I'll give you a list. However, you have to wait before acting. The game doesn't start until the bell tolls. And what exactly is this bell? The death of Clay. The, the death of Clay, of course. Let me explain this in an easier manner. As I said, there's a special guest. I have to keep my eyes on them as well. So your test is happening close by. Other people are competing with you, Max. We need one large event to start this, something that everyone will know of. I can think of nothing more fitting. The death of their figurehead star. I see. I will give you a specific time, date and time. It will be up to you to kill him then. After that, you have 24 hours. Alright, that makes perfect sense. Kill Clace, then kill the others. I have 24 hours from that point. Yes, but you have time to practice. And lots of time to set things up, too. You can use your company as a cover. Practice murder? Yes, I have the perfect opportunity. I'll give you free reign of Tokyo's people. But under this one condition. The deaths must happen exactly at midnight. Well, we know how the midnight killings went now. That seems rather specific. It benefits another venue of mine. I can't say much more than that, Max. I understand. This is all. This is an all-or-nothing game. If someone is left alive, or if anyone is left alive, you lose. You must deliver death to all of them. Until you kill Clay, you can practice, and that, and formulate your entire plan. You have a world tour to infiltrate. 
but with the power to stop time, I'll see how this is much of an issue. I'm looking forward to your results. Just make sure the VIP stays alive. They are present and not on the list. You can't afford to be reckless, Max. I am certain you won't disappoint, especially given this generous time frame. I hope to see you stand in my place. I'll do my best. So, about this list? Of course, take notes on your phone. You'll be using it a lot from now on. Back to save your game? Yes. Actually, that is a very good place to stop because that builds up the suspense and all that. <clears throat> People want to see more. Alrighty. Alrighty, that is one hour of streaming. Yeah, you know, the uh, VIP, which is either your character in the game or it's Kyla. Those are the two VIPs that I can think of. But yeah, I'm going to be ending this episode here. We are still in chapter five, though I have a feeling that this chapter is probably going to end in the next episode because things are progressing pretty quickly in this. And beyond that, I really appreciate all of you coming and visiting during the stream. I hope you will all come for my next one if you have a chance to. I know that some of you are busy at times, and I will see you all in the next episode. Have a good one.